Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 26 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about height, the first law of thermodynamics. So we can see we have the ice skater, and the mass is given, the initial speed is given, and then finally it stops. So finally speed is zero. And then we can consider the ice, the temperature, initial temperature is 0 centigrade, and just half of the heat generated by friction is absorbed by the ice. How much ice melt? The least difficult, but not. So we can see, we can see this sentence. Half of the heat generated by friction is absorbed by ice. Now, what is the Heat generated by friction. This is come from the energy conservation, right? We can see the initial kinetic energy finally transferred to the heat generated by the friction. Agree? So that means this energy is just one half mv squared, the kinetic energy. And this heat, it tells us the Heat absorbed by the ice is just half. So we can see the heat absorbed by ice, we limit Q, just equal to half. So the kinetic energy divided by 2, E over 2, agree? Okay? So this is come from this sentence. Now, how can you find the E? E is the kinetic energy, so 1 half mv squared. Now, where this energy goes, it goes to melt the ice, right? So that means this Q becomes the mass of the ice times the fueling constant. Agree? So mass of the ice times the fueling constant. We need to find how much of the ice is melt. So that means we need to find the mass of the ice, right? Yes? It looks we solved, solved it. So in this case, we input the Q at there, input the E at there, and then we solve this function. We can get, we solve this equation, get the function for the mass of the ice. Input the known quantities, get the final answer there. Thank you.